I just uh, wanted to make a tutorial for overclocking the FX6300 for anybody out there who's curious. So if you are going to be overclocking your FX6300, you are probably going to want an aftermarket cooler like a all-in-one AIO is really nice or even just like a Hyper 212 Evo or any anything better than the stock cooler. Um, even on the stock cooler, you can overclock like when I had a stock cooler, I had mine overclocked to 4.1 gigahertz for, I mean, it probably a couple weeks before I got this AIO. And on this AIO, I was running on 4.6 stable, but I knocked it down to 4.5. And I'm just going to show you what settings I'm using. So um, you don't have to touch the uh, IGX configuration. You can leave that be. Um, this is my... For 4.5, obviously I'm doing 22.5, and then for the North Bridge, I got this on 11. Uh, you want to this will be enabled by default. You want to disable that because you don't want you don't want your it'll be boosting down technically. I mean I don't even know how that would work, but disable that. Uh, this is just don't mess with this. Leave your uh, frequency at 200. Leave this at auto. You can leave this at auto. I have my HD link at times 12 for 2400. And then I have my memory left on uh, auto because I have tried messing with the memory on uh, this motherboard, but I can't seem to get a good memory overclock, so I just stopped trying. And um, at for for 4.5, I actually got I left. Uh, you have to go to system voltage control and do it to manual. And then I have my North Bridge at normal and my I couldn't overclock my RAM of course so I just left I ended up leaving this at 1.5 but from my voltage before I actually had it at 1.33 like at 4.6 and then whenever I took it back to and I had stable temperatures but like once I took it back to 4.5 I was like well like I should just see what I can get this stable at and at 1.27 it's never cut off it it's enough power and I actually haven't tried 1.25 or normal but honestly it it probably would be fine at 1.25 I'm gonna leave it at 1.27 just because I know that that's where it's good and it honestly might be good at 1.25 I just don't want to try right now because I don't know and I'm just trying to make this video real quick but uh, yeah, that's all your settings in there. And then uh, don't worry about your standard. The only thing else you're really going to have to worry about is uh, advanced features. And I have my load line on extreme. And then, of course, didn't mess with the IGX. And then you have to disable all these. Cause that, because some of these will make it to where your overclock, your computer will slow itself down, basically. And... Um, but you want to make sure that if you're cutting all these off and you are overclocking to like 4.5, you got to have a nice cooler. Especially if you're not on an FX6300, if you're on like an 8-core FX or, you know, any other, anything else really with more, with most 6-cores too. I mean, 6-cores get pretty hot. But yeah, that's all the good settings in there. And then that's about it. You just hit F10 and enter. You're good to go. I'm going to just uh, show you guys that I'm actually stable and shit. Show you that we good. I have an SSD, but the motherboard loop just takes forever to boot. This computer, I mean, it boots up fast after it gets to the starting windows, but this part is kind of slow. Now we're pretty much in there. As soon as it's done, it's a little animation, it pretty much goes in. It's pretty nice. This is the first PC I ever built. It's just a GTX 1060 with a FX. I'm gonna upgrade my motherboard and processor eventually. But I'm fine with this for now. Like, I can play any game I want. I, there's no games I really can't play, even on high or maxed out settings. Like, every game I play, I play on maxed out settings, but the most intensive thing I play is freaking Battlefield 1. But yeah, I'm just gonna open up Cinebench. I'm gonna just run a Cinebench test real quick just to show you guys that. Uh, I'm actually stable. I mean, this isn't going to show you that I'm actually stable. If you are going to be overclocking your processor, uh, make sure you have a temperature monitoring software like this, like HW, HW Monitor, and run benchmarks like IDA64 is great and uh, or something like that. But as you can see here, 
we're running center bench and i mean it's only at 51 degrees 52 it the highest it gets is about 60 with this aio which is completely safe it, it gets to 60 and it doesn't throttle it like you know might maybe go to 61 not too high over that because i have this aio or whatever but uh honestly it, it usually stays under 60 and even when it's at 60 it's not throttling because they say that these processors shouldn't go over 60. Uh, I think it's like 60 or 65 or something like that. But honestly, at 60 or 65, they're completely fine. You can run it at that 24-7, I'm pretty sure. You just got to make sure that your actual motherboard, um, like VRMs and stuff, aren't getting hot. Me, myself, I actually have a fan pointed towards my VRMs. And if you have a nicer motherboard than me, then... You're completely fine. You don't even... But most of the people watching this probably have the same board. So, yeah. And I completed the test. And, I mean, the computer didn't cut off or anything. The, I only got a 539. If I actually, like, turn off this and, like, turn my resolution down, I'll get about a 550 on 4.5. The highest score I ever got was actually a... Uh, I don't think it's in here. I have to put in my, my flash drive. But I got a 588. It's on hwbot.com. That's the highest I ever got. I got a 588 at 4.9. But, like, that wasn't even stable. I don't think it was stable. That was just for benchmarking, just trying to how, see how good I could push it. I couldn't even get five. But, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, make sure that after you're done with all this, you you actually run, like, I to 64 and maybe even, like, use your computer while you have ida 64 running and watch the temperatures like while you're watching a video or whatever just so that you know you're not going to have any problems and that it's not going to overheat or anything because it just so you don't break your stuff i mean if you really don't care then that's on you but yeah that's all hope y'all have a good day